hi there this is Vahid from VR Education channel and it is the fourth session of creating GUI for Python application automatically with just one line of code today we're going to continue our discussion on simple grid a new widget that I added to this uh, library recently and the main functionality of this widget is to show the list of objects inside our classes in a queue table widget with pagination capability in addition to loading data, you're also able to edit a scholar type values such as a string, double, integer, boolean values. But you're not able to edit complex type objects such as lists, dictionaries, or other objects inside the main object. And I mentioned that I'm going to create another widget named Advanced Grid to support these functionalities and also place um, annotated uh, widget for this property in Qtable widget. I did it to some extent. But in the middle of the process, I realized that it's better to add CRUD functionality to simple grid. And rather than having two uh, widgets for one purpose, it's better to have one complete um, and also user-friendly widget for this purpose. So I added uh, this functionality to simple grid, and I'm going to check it very soon. And also, another thing that I'm going to cover in this session is the functionality for clear all option in the list and table instead of uh, pressing delete button for all items inside a list if you want to delete all items i added clear all uh, options to list and tables so let's see a demo for advanced grid that i um, created uh, in a very short uh, time and then go to vs code and check simple grid new functionalities in previous session i introduced a new widget inside this library its name is uh, simple grid and the main functionality of this widget is to help us showing a list of objects inside a class on a dialog i also attach pagination capability to this widget so you can use it easily just by uh, one properties to enable it and then you can uh, divide data into different pages and go through them with uh, these buttons at the bottom of the widget by using simple grid you can uh, edit scholar type values in a grid by double clicking that cell and enter what you want uh, instead of the current values and for complex types such as a phone and extra info you cannot uh, do the same thing because you need to open a dialog to show uh, the contents of these cells so i did disabled it and i mentioned in previous session i'm going to create another widget named advanced grid to be able to load data inside uh, this table widget using uh, widgets not a Q table widget item for example for a number if i uh, annotate the related field with q progress bar uh, i can add uh, some progress bar on the table widget or if i uh, change it or annotate uh, this field with q slider you can see uh, all the nos uh, filled by a widget Q slider and also with the label for that i uh, developed uh, this widget and in the uh, in the middle of the process i think again about a simple grid and i come up with another idea to add some capabilities about uh, deleting editing and adding items to the simple grid instead of creating another widget so i'm gonna uh, tell you how you can use uh, these functionalities with simple grid in uh, in the new version so let's go to VS Code and let's clear this part again we have the person class and inside this class I only uh, add one private field addresses a list of address object and also to get access to this uh, field I create a property and annot annotate it with the simple grid as the main widget so it means that if I want to create a GUI for this class using VPI GUI generator uh, VPI GUI generator I should uh, realize this field with simple grid on a dialog let's do a little cleaning here I'm gonna get rid of these input parameters I don't need it anymore I change it to 35 also and I should delete them from here and again the main uh, focus of this library is to uh, let us create GUI for object from one class with just one line of code this line and also bind uh, the object to that uh, GUI or that dialog uh, in a two-way automatically so the only thing that we need to call from this library is this line of code and then again uh, show it or do another thing that we 
may in need with the dialog objects. And also, I made a change to address class. In address class, in constructor, I created two branch. If I provide something as a city and it's used for demonstration, I just used it to initialize uh, some fields in a predefined way. So you can see the result in a grid. For example, city 1, 2, 3, 2, 35, because it's uh, initialized with uh, some predefined methods. And if I want to add a new address item, so I created another way or I branched it in the constructor. I uh, just uh, initialize the field with some predefined values. For example, uh, empty string for string values, zero for uh, numeric values, and also empty list for phone, and also uh, an empty item object or uh, an instance of item object for extra info. And again, I create um, property for each uh, of these fields and, and annotate it with the proper field values. With the proper widget also. For example, for a uh, city and uh, street, I use QLine ID. For postcode, I use QSPIN box and uh, the others. So, these changes made um, in comparison to the previous version. Now, let's run the application and see the output with the new simple grid uh, widget. In the new uh, simple grid version, I added two options in each row. Delete option and edit option. The functionality is obvious. Also, the pagination is the same as before. And here we have another functionality to add new item to this grid. I will check them one by one. First of all, let's uh, see the delete functionality. If you want to delete a row, and this is uh, also necessary when you work with tables, you want to delete item from uh, the list. Here we have uh, four different uh, operation that it names CRUD, create, retrieve, update, and delete. Create, retrieve is the item that we show here, and uh, up, um, update, and also delete. So let's check the delete, the last one. If I press the delete button, it's a uh, show uh, confirmation dialog, and you can uh, use show dialog. In this part, uh, you can see the string representation of this object. So this is just uh, the data that um, I just, uh, Concat them in the Dunderous jar method. And if you press no, nothing happened. But if you press yes, the first item deleted from the grid. And one item added to the end of uh, the list. And if you go to the last page, here only we have four items. So let's go to the first page again. And I'm going to delete all the rows till the number 10. So I'm going to delete this one, also this one, and this one. And also, I'm going to delete 9. So now, when I delete the 9, the page uh, count reduced to 3 because I removed 5 items. And now, in the last page, I have uh, the third, uh, the city with the 35 caption at, as the end uh, or as the last items. So this is the functionality of the delete. So let's edit items. I'm going to change it to a city, my city, my hometown city, Shiraz. I'm going to change it to ST1. And also, I add a couple of icons instead of text for these buttons, and it gets a nicer look and feel to the forms. So, and also, if you want to clear all the items inside uh, one list or table widget, you can expand this button and use clear all. Now, all items gone. So, I'm going to add another phone. Yeah. I also change it to, for example, one one. If I press OK, you can see all the things change inside this item. Let's add something inside the extra info. Sample one 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 one. Okay, and you can see sample is uh, uh, shown here. So. In this way, you can go through the object inside another object uh, infinitely. Okay, this is the main benefit of uh, using this uh, edit um, action in each row instead of uh, creating advanced grid and uh, things like that. So, if I press OK, you can see the first item changed to Shiro's ST1 and uh, the related things. After that, 3 is gone, also 5, deleted, 6, 
seven. Maybe I forgot to delete seven, or I just delete um, eight instead of seven, I think. Yeah. And at the last, we have 35. Okay. So th this is the functionality for delete and edit options. Now let's add one item to the grid. So we can use plus sign, and empty form will be shown. So we can uh, use enter uh, use this form to enter data. For example, Shiraz ST1, postcode 1, phone 2, and an 3 And I just uh, jump over extra info. If I press OK, nothing uh, happened in this page. But if I went, uh, if I go to the last page, you can see another item added here. Shiraz ST1, 1, 2, 3. And you can also edit it and add another item here, for example, sample. Press OK. And the sample is uh, now in the extra info. So if I press OK, if I go to the last, you can see after 35, another item, Shiraz, ST1, 3, 1, and the others also added to the list, to the final list. So this is how you can use uh, this simple grid to uh, edit, add, or delete item from one list. So let's change it um, to another thing. I'm gonna demonstrate some boundary check. Always try to use boundary check in your application. These are very important. I'm gonna add only three items to the list. So if I, I forgot to save it. If I run the application, you can only we have only uh, three items here. And if I add another item, for example, ESD QW one two. Three. If I press OK, the fourth item added to the list, and if you save it, you can see after three we have AST QW item at the end uh, because I added it recently. Now, if I change it to ten, or if I change it to uh, eleven, for example, I have one full page and one page with just one row. So if I delete one item here, uh, you can see the page changes, the navigation uh, buttons disabled because I only have one page here. And if I press OK, okay, here after nine, we have eleven, not ten. Ten deleted. So let's run it one more time. What if I go to the second page and press delete here? So, because there's no item in the second page, the thing's also updated, and we go back to the first page, and the navigation button also get disabled, because we have no other page, we only have one page. If I add another item here, for example, ESD, QWE, one, two, three, if I press OK, again, I have another page here, so you can navigate to that page, yeah, this is the item that I added right now. And if I go back and delete, for example, number eight, this item gets into the first page and the navigation button disabled because there's no other page on uh, this uh, data source. If I press OK, you can see after seven, we have nine and ten, and after that, we have AST, QWE, and etc. So this is the functionality I added to Simple Grid, and it's necessary to have it to delete items from a list, add item to the list, or edit an uh, existing item in a list. And also, the pagination works as before, and also I uh, just uh, fixed some uh, minor problems with the navigation. And um, I hope you test this library and tell me uh, the things or issues that you uh, faced uh, during your usage or the thing that you need to add to this library and specifically to this simple grid because it's uh, I think one of the most useful items or widgets in uh, programming uh, when we are dealing with uh, data especially list data uh, this uh, grid gonna help us a lot and in future I'm gonna add filter option to this grid for example uh, you can uh, filter um, the grid based on the city or a street or you can combine them so uh, in the first row of each page, I add a couple of widgets so we can enter data based on the object types. For example, for NO that is new break, I'm going to use uh, the widget that you mentioned here in the annotation of the sitter for that specific field. For example, 
for number I'm going to use QSPIN box or a slider anything that you mentioned here and you can use it easily to um, uh, filter your uh, data or filter the list and also uh, for, for example for combo box uh, for the field that uh, comes from a combo box I'm going to add a combo box in the filter so you can select it uh, from a combo box then you don't need to type it this is uh, the next step in uh, simple create uh, compilation so i hope you enjoyed this video and also this library let me know your opinion in the comment section till the next session goodbye